so do you wonder what you should be doing should you be posting on one platform you know focusing on that platform making sure that you get perfect on that platform do you understand the the intricacies of engagement and what kinds of posts you got to do and how to do it and where to post and when to post and and what all that do you need to understand all of that or do you need to be everywhere right you need to be on every single platform imagine just just imagine thinking about learning all the platforms so you can be on all the platforms isn't that insane how is that even possible how can somebody be on all the platforms I mean seriously I mean if you look at well actually we're going to show you that in a second I just want to so I want to ask you that question do you think you should be on all platforms or just one platform maybe two platforms what do you think is the best and make sure you comment below let me know where you're watching from and if you're listening to the audio go comment on this or go find the blog post at cis247.jsgangon.com cis247.jsgagnon.com go check that out we're going to talk about whether you should be doing you know all your energy on one platform or posting everywhere and what's the difference between doing that and how can you even do how can you even post everywhere right how is that even possible we're going to look at what the leaders are doing and how they're doing it and how you can do some of the things or whether you should or not do those things so we'll talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so are you have you decided what you should do? What do you think you need to do? Make sure you comment below. Let me know. I'm really interested in knowing what you think about this whole debate of posting in one place or posting everywhere, right? And I I definitely look at every single comment whether you're seeing this on YouTube on Facebook on LinkedIn on Twitter on Instagram on Pinterest I'm gonna comment back and I'm gonna be super excited and happy that you commented on this and even if you go you know other platforms hopefully I have time to check but you know on on SoundCloud Alexa on uh, iTunes on Spotify on Stitcher on Google Podcasts I mean that's I don't know where you're hearing this where you're watching this but I will look at your comment and if not go to my blog and comment there all right so let me just show you what I'm talking about so let's say I show you for example somebody like well first well <laughs> I don't know we'll we'll kind of cover both both of these aspects at the same time if we look at somebody like Gary Waynerchuk, if you don't know who Gary Waynerchuk is he is one of the top leaders on social media he's been around I, I first met him when I I guess in 2015 when I went to a GoPro event um <clears throat> and he was a keynote speaker there and he was all <clears throat> all about all these you know curse words and everything and he still kind of is but he's probably tamed a little bit I guess you could use that word nowadays but he doesn't really worry about that because that's his personality and well that's not the point I'm just saying that you might have heard of him as a person who curses a lot and maybe you're not interested in following but I gotta tell you if you're on social media you're trying to build your business online you're trying to grow your business online he definitely is somebody that you got to listen to and one of the things he talks about is posting everywhere or he just posting just post and post and post don't worry about whether it's perfect whether it's whether it's ex you know exactly right you gotta get going and start going but let's talk let's go back to what I was saying should you post everywhere should you post on a single platform what why do you hear those two different you know <clears throat> suggestions right well for one thing when you're starting out I know what I when I started out in 2015 I was posting only on Facebook really but and blogging I was actually well actually I guess my number one thing was I was blogging right so I was blogging and to blog <coughs> I'm sorry about that and to blog you need uh well you don't need that but I was doing a video blog so I was a recording of a video I was posting it as a video in the blog I was writing up a blog post and then I was so that meant I was uploading to YouTube and I wasn't really doing anything on YouTube and I was 
creating the blog post then I would share it to Facebook so I basically was learning how to blog and using Facebook so two platforms plus a little bit of the the YouTube thing but the thing is that when you're starting out it's not really easy <clears throat> to understand all the platforms there's a lot of similarities but there's also lots of differences so all the platforms are slightly different you got to learn different tactics different different limits different different <clears throat> you know content type that you're allowed you're not allowed or that if you do more of you might get penalized or that kind of stuff right or or the or this uh, or the frequency of posting should you be posting once a day once every once every hour once a week uh 10 times a day you know whatever like all the platforms are different and that's the thing <clears throat> so you know should you be posting everywhere I I think it's important to be visible to be seen but the important thing is to know what you can do on each of the platforms so if you're starting out you can't be posting everywhere you're going to be thinning yourself out you're going to be getting overwhelmed you're going to be having problems with understanding and doing one thing one place and then you do it try to do it in the other place and, it, and you mess things up so <laughs> you got to learn the platforms first so if I look at <coughs> but I <coughs> but like I said if you look at somebody like Gary V you can see like this is on Facebook right he's on Facebook and this is a post like this is a post where, where is that 17 hours ago this one is two, 20 hours ago this one is uh well 10 a.m let's just go to the last few um nine 15 hours right uh two hours so he's posting three four posts a day on Facebook on his Facebook page if I go to uh, Instagram <coughs> I'm not sure if I can I guess I have to open it so let's yeah so on Instagram that's two hours ago if I go to the next one that's <coughs> an hour ago where's the where's the <coughs> nine nine 15 hours ago then there's this one here which was uh 22 hours ago so I guess he's posting two or three things a day on one day ago he's posting two or three things a day on Instagram so he's supposed <coughs> he's posting on Instagram then he's posting and by the way the reason I have this this thing in my throat is just because last night I went to bed at midnight and whenever I and I get up at 5 a.m and whenever I don't sleep my eight hours my my body doesn't like it and I get this anyway so I'm sure I've got some sort of health problem but things are under control <clears throat> except that I keep doing that but so on Twitter on Twitter you can see on Twitter he's posting um 22 hours ago 12 18 hours ago 22 hours ago 23 hours ago um uh, what 15 hours ago uh 16 hours ago 15 hours ago one hour ago so he's posting a lot of more on Twitter I mean that's the recommendation anyways Twitter you're supposed to be posting more often uh then if I go to LinkedIn on LinkedIn you can actually find somebody's activities by just going to their activity right here and you can see the see all right there and you can see how many how many uh if you just click on posts you can see the posts that he does right so he's got a post here from 49 minutes ago he's got a post here from 17 hours ago two, 21 hours ago 23 hours ago so about I guess three or four posts a day on LinkedIn as well <clears throat> and if you go to Pinterest I'm not really sure how you can tell on Pinterest how long ago these things were but you can see he posts on Pinterest all the time one of the things that he talks about and and on on TikTok he's posting on TikTok videos on TikTok right all the time um okay so that's Gary V I mean I can show you uh somebody else like if I go for example well let's not worry about it if you look up uh Tony Robbins you look up um Eric Worre you look up um uh Russell Brunson you look up I mean the leaders the big leaders they're posting everywhere so of course you want to be posting everywhere that's kind of what you want right the thing is that if you're post first of all it takes a lot of time to create all this content to post everywhere right and you see me posting everywhere and you see the content I'm creating is maybe not as polished as some somebody like Gary V because you know he's got a team of probably a hundred people creating these pieces of content they've they're graphic artists they're experts in in audio and video and they're they do all these things so does Russell Brunson so there's all these leaders they have money to do that right so they do it that they do through a team me I'm alone so I don't do it with a team and you're probably alone too so you don't have you know the what it takes you don't have the, the 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 team to actually generate all these 
you know tools all these <clears throat> um uh, well uh, what's the word I'm saying all these pieces of content all these assets to post to all these different platforms right and I don't know if you've heard but I've been building a platform kind of in the background there maybe we'll talk about that in the, in, in the end here but uh but yeah so okay so posting so you got to learn the different things I mean if you look at posting on Facebook that's the reason why we say focus on one platform what we mean by that is you got to focus to learn the platform really well right once you learn the platform I mean if you look at see if you see this you see that he's got 16 comments on here he's got 84 comments here to uh, uh 248 shares he's got 150 comments 435 shares uh 32 comments 115 shares if you look at uh his Instagram uh we can see there's 5513k plays of this video uh 6600 like ridiculous numbers right 378 uh, 154 if you look on Twitter I don't know if you can tell can you tell yeah I guess you can see how many comments and how many likes 69 487 likes right uh he's got uh 56 three um on LinkedIn he's got you know 1000 likes 91 comments on this he's got 151 comments on that he's got 33 comments on this on Pinterest can you see on Pinterest uh you can't I guess you can't really see <coughs> on Pinterest what the the results but you can see here whoops you can see up here 238 monthly viewers you can see 29,000 followers um you know and that's and okay so and then on TikTok you can see the number of views too 358,000 28,000 59,000 and of course the number of followers on 5 million followers on 68 million likes right so just just to compare let's you know what let's do another I'm going to open up another window here and I'm going to go to my so we got Facebook if I go to my page which is ridiculous <laughs> if I go to my page I can show you and let's load up the other tabs while this is happening so we had we had Twitter we had Instagram we had LinkedIn we had Pinterest and we had oops and we had uh what's the other one TikTok okay so if I just I guess it's it takes a while to load up all this but if I go to my page I got pages here uh, where are my pages right here I got a bunch of pages and you know my content isn't a super but as you can see right here I got 33 followers on this page by the way if you're on Facebook make sure you go follow this page course income secrets or js going or astronaut search all these different pages I got um I would appreciate if you did follow but if I go to course income secrets or not follow but it's like I guess a like or follow is, is similar on Facebook so you can see right here that I post these different things and as you can see there's no no comments no likes only me there's not no activity but if you look at I can show you where's the uh, my videos I can show you the videos uh can I see in here mm, no oh yeah right there you can kind of see so I get you know 26 views 45 views 43 views uh 28 28 36 so it's not like thousands of views and that's and you know one of the reasons why I'm not getting thousands of views on all these 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 on these posts right is because I don't spend a lot of time on the platform and that's one of the things that they say when you're when you're starting out you're trying to learn the platform you need to be spending time on the platform you need to be um engaging you need to be uh, re replying to comments you need to be commenting on other people's stuff you need to be liking and sharing other people's things the platform will re reward you if you're engaging <coughs> on the platform and they're going to penalize you if you're not so for me because I'm posting everywhere but I'm not taking the time to actually do a lot of engagement I'm kind of penalized but at the same time it's still pretty impressive when I'm not really engaging I'm getting 23 25 30 28 views on these videos it's not like I said it's not a lot but it's still not bad now if I go to Twitter <coughs> I go to my profile you can see on Twitter I've got a hundred oh, almost 12,000 followers 
and I got these posts that I did recently there's no retweets there's no nothing I'm posting this I don't know what how many people are seeing this but you can you can see I'm posting all the time right every hour every half hour whatever if we look at the analytics let's just see the analytics over here <clears throat> so the analytics on Twitter you can kind of see that I got less tweets this month uh 100 less less impressions but still 100 101 000 impressions that's still pretty good 156 profile visits you know that's it's not like huge numbers but those are still 156 people that went to check out my profile right I mean that's just that's just kind of how it works right um okay so anyway so that's that's Twitter let's go to Instagram on Instagram um if I go to my own profile right here <clears throat> you can see I post these videos I got six plays on here 10 plays 11 9 11 5 12 11 6 16 8 you know I, I don't have thousands of views there either but I'm posting there <clears throat> and I'm understanding the platform I know that and I got 4,000 followers so you know that's I didn't I didn't start posting on Instagram I actually created my account on Instagram like about a, two years ago or something right on LinkedIn on LinkedIn I uh if you go to up here you can actually go see your own activity you just go to post an activity right there and you can see your own activity I can click on posts all activity includes likes and things like that right <clears throat> if I just click on post um it sees it says three views here right over here I said six views over here it's the, the these are just shares and groups because you don't really see <coughs> the actual post the actual post is over here no that's not the actual post. this is the actual post so over here oh it doesn't show me the doesn't show me the number of videos the number of plays I thought you could see that maybe it's only uh oh yeah right there 40 views of your video right so in 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 LinkedIn I'm getting 40 views of my videos right so if I go to Pinterest now and I look at my post what is this is this whoops that's not what I meant reset okay that's why that's why my gear view was looking big so if you look at my 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 Instagram uh, Pinterest account you see I've got 56,000 views if I just go to my profile <coughs> I got 56,000 monthly viewers right if that if you compare that to Gary V he's getting 29 he's getting 288,000 so 300,000 so he's getting about uh what is that that's three that's six about well five times more my mind right but it's still that's still pretty good that I'm getting that many if you look at these po these 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 videos that's one of the things on on Pinterest I actually find that the video views are so much higher look at this one I got 1k view on this on this image I got 150 views uh 95 plays 259 views on this image I got 1.1k view on this on this video or is that a video or an image that's an image I got 602 views of this image oh this is the same image I guess 1.1k 793s 12 808 views if I just look at the videos for example uh, the videos just the videos we just look at the videos I find that like I said Pinterest is really one of the best ones I actually created a, a, a um, I did a, a training on Pinterest how to grow your Pinterest because look at that 472 this is a video I posted yesterday that's got 472 views on it 150 266 127 like I mean that's literally thousands of people watching my stuff every single month right if you go to TikTok and you look at my profile there <clears throat> you load it up here view oh I guess I gotta you can see I've, I don't have like millions of followers I got a thousand one hundred followers right but I get 90 100 102 I get around the 200 100 to 200 views on some of these videos 191 179 197 205 right 192 225 184 176 right I get you know I get the views there too so people are seeing me they're seeing my stuff and that's one of the reasons why you want to post everywhere if if you were to add all these views up every single month 
it's thousands of people seeing my stuff but the thing is that if you've got thousands of people seeing your stuff and you're not doing anything to engage them and you're not doing anything to build relationships then you know there's no use right your your relationship building does ha does happen through your content but if you really want to grow your business fast you got to reach out you got to have conversations you got to engage and you got to share their stuff you got to do things like that right which is not something I'm focusing on right now because like I said I'm building this platform this platform that <coughs> that I've, I was telling you about so how does that work how do I do that how do I post all these things lots of this is a stuff that I post um <clears throat> like the, all these videos right these videos here these are all the videos that I post the daily videos that I post right so I create this video that I'm recording right now and if you're listening to the audio it's because I took that video and I extracted the audio out of it and I shared it to um to uh, SoundCloud and to Click eCourse so that I could then automatically share it to uh, iTunes to um uh, Spotify to Stitcher to Google Podcast to iHeartRadio the audio is going all those places Alexa Alexa skills it's going to all those places automatically by me just well just it takes you know a little bit of time to extract the audio and then upload it <coughs> but then after that it goes to all these other places the other and then the other thing is the videos I share to Pinterest I share to LinkedIn I share to Instagram I share to Twitter I share to Facebook these videos like these videos here right that I share on Facebook that I share on all the platforms they are the same videos except that they're they're extracted from the source video if I I mean you know even on YouTube right if I go to YouTube I'm actually curious I don't know if Gary V Gary V certainly has a YouTube channel but let's just for the fun of it let's just take a look at uh, oops I didn't uh, YouTube YouTube yeah, let's just go up here and say YouTube Gary V there you go he's on there for sure and I don't know can you tell the number of I know I see I don't know much about YouTube right I just post there and if I look at videos um yeah you can see obviously see the views see 12k view 115 16 views whatever if I go to my channel and I look at my so success with JS there's my channel um let's just pause this so I want to play that whoops yeah so that's my channel if I look at the videos here you can see all the videos I've been posting right all the videos I've been posting and you can see look I got one view two views th two views five views three views four views 15 views six views right I'm not getting a ton of views on YouTube but that's you know there's lots of videos on there that are are the the content that you know I mean if if we go to well let's just see if I if I go to these different tabs right I can you can see there's different content on all of these things right there's content everywhere there's videos here there's there's videos here well that's Gary V but um, I mean you know that's the thing right I mean these are all the pieces the content that people are seeing that's how people get to know you right you if you were to just focus now there is some truth in the focus on one platform right that that there's some better to that because you're not you don't need to create a bunch of different content you're creating only content for one platform you don't need to learn more than one platform you don't need to spend time on more than one platform so there's definitely benefit to being focused on one platform and the thing about the being on one platform is that your 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 engagement the platform will reward you and show your stuff to more people like me when I post on in, on any of these platforms I don't like you said like you see I don't get millions of views I just get a few views here and there add them all up it's good but if I was just to do one platform and I didn't do the engagement I didn't do anything I would not be going very far right but with the way that I'm doing it I've, I'm being seen everywhere and the thing about going on multiple platforms is it helps you to be seen as an expert people even though like people don't necessarily know I mean they can tell some of the 
metrics like I said you can you can see how many views somebody has on their on their YouTube videos right you can see some how many uh views they have on their TikTok videos how many views they have on their Instagram um there's some uh, metrics you can't see if you're not if you're not the owner of the account right uh, I'm not sure if you can see the metrics yeah yeah I guess you can't see the metrics on Pinterest so that might be one of the reasons why it's it's like that but the thing is that if you want to post on multiple platforms you have to either have a lot of time on your hands or you have to understand the automation right how do you automate the posting everywhere like I do right I have this script I run this script like here's a here's a script that creates and extracts uh my my full video that's 30 minutes and extracts a part of it right it runs all these things uh you know it, it's a, it, it does a trim version here the trim fade and then it does a, a trim full trim and then it does the full output I mean it's like this script here does all that for me right so I just run the script I just I just create the video and then I run the script and then look after I run my script I got all these different things out of it I got the trim one I got which is a two minute one I got the trim f5 which is the five minute one and then I got a, th a thumbnail for soundcloud and a thumbnail for videos and then I got the gifs for and then I got a wave file for soundcloud and here's the full video right here and then I got a bunch of text files text files to to produce my content when I go to Facebook like say for example I want to post to uh, LinkedIn so I would go into LinkedIn and I would just go to the main page and I would do start a post and then I would go to my my content here or the, I would do the I would look at the LinkedIn post and I would just take the text from the LinkedIn post right here I would just paste it in here and then I would choose my video from my from my computer I would just choose the video the short the trim five minutes now I don't know if I probably shouldn't do that here because it'll upload and whatever but I maybe I should here let me show you on the on the test computer I have that I can do that on <coughs> let's show you that here okay so on this is basically the same thing I go into uh, LinkedIn I go and I say start a post and then I go into the where's the uh, all right I got this a little bit smaller right here so if I go to 2020 all right I gotta go in here see how it is 2020 10 uh 8, 19 get LinkedIn okay so I got my LinkedIn text right here I just take this text right here and then I copy it and then I go back to the uh, to the LinkedIn post and I paste it in there right then I take the video and I upload the video I take this full this trimmed video because I I don't want to post a full video well I can't anyways LinkedIn has a limit of 10 minutes so I can't post a full video so I got to get a trimmed video and what I do in this trimmed video well if you're if you've ever seen any of my content on Facebook on LinkedIn or anything and you haven't listened to the long video like this one here we're at 28 minutes right so you wouldn't know that you wouldn't you wouldn't see what I'm talking about right now if you didn't watch the full video because the the trim video is five minutes at five minutes it cuts off and says hey if you want to keep watching go to my blog right so if I just do that I just click on this it uploads it right then I say done and then I post it right I'm not going to post it right now because it's the same one I posted yesterday but then I just click on post after I posted it I'll discard it right now after I posted it right then it shows up in my activities and I share it to different platforms I do that on LinkedIn then I want to post it on say on on uh, I want to upload on 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 SoundCloud I just say upload a file I choose the wave file which I extracted previously I upload an image and I choose the thumbnail no not the thumbnail the soundcloud file which has my title and my name and the number of podcasts right there and then I and then I go get the text I say soundcloud I got the text file for the soundcloud I got the title right here I just take the title out of here and then I paste that over here and then I go in the description I take all the description take it all over here I copy that I paste that over here 
and you know then I do the rest of the stuff there's metadata permissions whatever and then after that I say save right and just can cancel it because that's already there but um uh are you sure you want to stop uh, is it okay or cancel yeah okay so that's the one there and then uh where else do I post I mean obviously on link on on YouTube I do the same thing right I do create upload a video I select the that's the video once I've created it once I have the blog post created I take the full video on 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 YouTube right and then I look at my YouTube file right so YouTube file has gotten the title right here and then I go over here I paste the title and then I take the description I take the whole description right here I paste it in here then I go and I scroll down I go to the image I select the thumbnail which is the this the thumbnail here and then I click on next and I click on next and then I make it unlisted and then I save it so then it processes it and all that right and then once it's processed I can use it in my blog post as the video to my blog post now, this is the same video I posted yesterday so I'm just going to delete it it's, it's as you can see there's two of them right but that's the process I do now how can you use the process similar to this well I'm going to show you something that I'm working on right now if if I go to my I'm not logged in let's just reload this page all oh, right I can't uh, uh, let me just go to this uh, magical link here <laughs> back over here all right I just had to uh, hide a, a, a special code I put in okay so if I just log in here I just uh, say continue as Jean Serge I'm going to log in I'm logged in and I'm going to go show you the syndication process that will would allow you to do the exact same thing I just showed you right there right so if I click on this I go to syndication I can create a new series I'm going to create a new series I'll call it real talk and then I will have the default uh, assets that exist I'm just say done for now then I'm going to create a new syndication I'm going to specify an upload I'm going to choose uh, this this file here and it's going to upload the file to the platform for syndication to get it ready for syndication then then all I have to do is I go to the video thumbnails I will say I wanted this at I know I could go find the position let's just say I use this so eight minute eleven eight minute eleven <laughs> I go to the next step I say the title the episode number was what I forget uh, I guess it was yesterday so 246 the url I can get it from the the blog post uh, where is it right here and then <clears throat> the title is uh, oops actually that's the page right here that's the whole thing let's go back up here there's the title I'm going to paste the title in here click on here I'm going to enter the full text just by copying it off the blog post there you go paste that in here click on next the short text I don't need okay so then I can now there now just so you know there's some things that aren't working right yet um so it's it's that's why it's not available yet but if you want access to this you can request access to this just by creating a support ticket you need to register an account then you create a support ticket you click on the let's just uh actually let's open this in a new tab so once you logged in to the site and you registered all you got to do is click on the little register uh let's actually you know what let's open that in the incognito I'm going to show you well first well let's show you here so if I click on this generate assets now it's going to start to process these different assets and it's going to show me which one when the the ones that are done like for example if I look at the um so you see they're, they're failing some of these are failing right but if I look at the video thumbnail that got generated it's the video thumbnail of the actual and you can actually save this right save image as on your computer and then you can share it to Facebook that kind of stuff 
uh, let's close this up um, if I go back to the list uh, you can see that there's um, the thumbnail here the here's a gif right the gif thumbnail it's a moving image right it's just loading up you can see that you can't really see yeah I guess I didn't pick a, um, a place in the image that was very moving you can see my mouse moving there <laughs> but I probably should have picked a place where the it was zooming in or something but anyways uh back to assets list so that lets you generate images lets you generate text so here's the text for Facebook I can actually go oh that's a little bit messed up I guess uh oh I probably needed to go and um, add uh, but like I said there's there's still some bugs in this right it's not perfect yet and uh if I go to the asset list is there one that looks better if I look at the Pinterest one no it's still uh the Twitter one is short text no well, I gotta fix that oh, that's kind of weird I didn't know that was broke but anyways so that lets you generate all these different pieces of asset then you can just share it on all the platforms really easily same thing with the audio it's going to create the audio the trimmed video the audio and then what I wanted to show you is this so uh, over here so if I if I go over to the sport open that in the in, so if by the way if you want to give this first of all this platform is not going to be free but right now there is a opportunity for you to join in to get access to it for free right to be able to use the platform and become a beta tester of it because I'm a, I'm looking for people to tell me whether they they like it whether it works or not that kind of stuff right so definitely uh, let me know if you're interested but how do you do that is all you got to do is you go to the sport you got to go to the site uh, open an incognito you go to the site and then you basically uh let me log out I've got this log out let's just close this up close this up and then just reload again because I had a I already had an incognito window okay so when you go to the site you're basically going to get all right I can't use that so hold on let me fix that too whoops I forgot about that just give me a moment right here just a little second and let me just uh, go back here and go back here okay that should be good so let me just do this and actually 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 sorry there's still one more thing okay okay so this is what I wanted to show you I wanted to show you if I go here and I go to right click in the incognito it'll be kind of like when you're visiting the site you're going to see this get support for click eCourse says you must register or log in just click on the register then click with continue with Facebook it'll ask you to log in if you're well normally you would already be logged in so it'll just have the continue with your name there uh, after you're logged in and you've got an account then you create a support ticket and creating a support ticket looks like this uh well actually this is just a list of support tickets if I click on the little plus up here it'll let you create a support ticket right away and you just put in here summary uh beta syndication and then in the details you say I'd love to join please add me to syndication beta all right so you just do that you submit the ticket and then I'll get it as a notification uh, and then I'll add you to the beta group once the platform has it right now this is not available on the on the live site but it it's like see it's getting there right we're very close to having it so hopefully you enjoyed this and you know this helps you to understand why you would want to be on a single platform or you want to be everywhere and how do you be everywhere you know using automation like this all right if you have any questions reach out I'm always there have yourself a great day this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.